Welcome, everyone, to today's webinar on UniCloud, new features. The event module was enhanced on the UniCloud. Events are emails and SMS notifications. Previously, only scheduled events were available. And scheduled events are great for daily or weekly reports or weekly follow-ups or reminders. In the enhancement, the events can now be triggered by alarms or real-time data analysis, what we call telemetry. So event-based conditions are now available. Tables can also be embedded into the email body up to 100 lines. If the table is greater than 100 lines, you always have the option to add it as an attachment. Here's an example of an event setup. You give the event a name, choose the trigger type, choose the action type, whether it's an SMS notification or a email notification. You can choose to notify a specific organization or a specific group. Here's an example of the trigger setup. You define a start date, a end date, if that's relevant. Choose the asset type that the trigger is relevant for. And then define the trigger conditions. Reference the table at the bottom. You have not, and, or statements all available. And alarming options are available if there's a major or minor alarm. And you can filter by a specific alarm in a specific asset or organization. And you can also do analytics at the bottom. You can see pump one temperature greater than 70, pump two temperature equal to pump one temperature, and pump three temperature is equal to some calculation. Okay, sending email and SMS messages. Uh, limitations on these. Email, there is no limitation. The user can send as many emails as they'd like. SMS, the limitation will be based on subscription type. When an asset is in evaluation period, 300 SMS messages per month. Startup is 30, basic 90, intermediate 150, and advanced will be limited to 300 SMS messages per month. Currently, for three months, Unitronics is extending the 300 SMS messages uh, limit to any asset. And during this time, you can use it for testing uh, and vetting of the functionality. Okay, let's take a look at the events on the UniCloud. I've logged on to my account and in the navigation options, navigate to event management. Under events will be all the active events for this account. I can see the name, the status, the created date, and the trigger type as well as the action type, email or SMS. To add a new event, navigate to templates. Add a new template. I'll give it a name, email, pump fault. The trigger type, scheduler, alarm, or telemetry. I'll choose alarm. The latch period the resend period every 30 minutes. Action type, email or SMS. Finally, you can filter by a specific organization. Next, define the trigger. The start and end date, the asset type, that this is relevant for, and the rules. I'll add a rule. I can trigger for a specific asset ID. A specific alarm. And that alarm's status. Okay, and there are many other filtering options as well for the alarm condition. 
including a specific organization, or a entire asset type. Next, the data sources. This is the dynamic information that can be included in the email. So I can add a new data source. And let's say I'd like to include uh, the pump name in the email. That's going to be a value, asset type, webinar, and the data tags, asset name. I could choose the last value or the aggregated data. I want the last value. Add asset name to data and metrics. And my data source was added. I'll add another. Maybe the temperature at the time of email. And my data tag, which is the information coming from the PLC, temperature, the last value for temperature. I'll add that to data and metrics. And my temperature will now be available when sending the email. I'll add one more piece of data, maybe the working hours of the pump. Next, asset type, webinar, data tags, the working hours. And so again, I can choose the last value, which is the last update of that tag, or I could do some aggregated data, any summing or averaging or more uh, on the tag. I'll choose the last value. Add working hours to data and metrics. And now the name, the temperature, and the working hours will be available in the email body. Now this information is dynamic, right? So right now uh, we only have one asset. But if we had many assets and we were triggering the event based on asset type, this information would be dynamic and based on the asset, for the alarm, it would pull the name, temperature, and working hours of that asset. Here we build the message, pump fault, and in the body, this message is from unit, and we can add the data source, the name, the temp at time of email was, and we can add the data source. And finally, the working hours of the pump are, and we can add the working hours. So the subject and the email body are now complete. Finally, Choose the audience. You can choose an existing group or create a new group. I'll choose admins. And now the admins will receive this notification. So the template is now complete. Notice that it is still a draft. I can click on it. I can preview the message. I can edit. And I can also test the message. I'll send the email to myself. Confirm. And that will just take a moment to arrive. In the meantime, I'd like to show you the activities log. This is a log of all the events that have occurred on this organization. You can see in the top right, the number of SMS and emails. And you can filter based on date range, event, organization type or name, and action type. 
Here I've had two events, both maintenance events. I can see the date and time they were triggered and how many messages were sent. Three messages because my admins group has three users. So here is the email. The subject was pump fault. And the message was the structure that we defined. The name, temperature, and working hours were all uh, referencing that asset. Notice the signature at the bottom. This is the default signature. This is available for change when the organization has premium branding. Premium branding is a one-time $1,500 charge. Okay, so I can navigate back to templates. Now that I'm happy with the event, I can click on it and publish it. Under events, the event was added to my active list. Now very quickly, I do just want to show a template uh, of telemetry, right? So I'll click on the working hours here and I'll edit this structure, navigate to triggers. And in the rules section, you can see I'm referencing uh, some tag data from this device, specifically the working hours being greater than 9,000. I can add another rule and take a look at the fields available. We have the asset properties that we previously had, but we also have the tags from the PLC. And again, we can reference these here. So that was an overview of the new events functionality. Trigger-based events or trigger-based emails and SMS notifications were one of the more highly requested features of the UniCloud. Uh, so we're very excited about this, uh, this new feature. We think our customers are going to use it with a lot of success. There are a lot of uses for it, right? Uh, alarming, system status, logs, and more. I encourage everybody to log on to the UniCloud uh, and, and give the events module a test drive. It's very easy to set up and very feature rich. Currently, Unitronics is offering a trial period for all new devices, three months free trial at any subscription plan. Free remote access is also available until the end of 2022. In January 2023, remote access will require a startup subscription plan. Thank you very much for attending today's webinar.